الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Dear viewers in Islam, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. In today's uh, program, we are going to take verse number 171 of سورة البقرة, the second سورة in the Quran. This is another parable which is given here for those who reject the faith. Let me read this verse first. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ومثل الذين كفروا كمثل الذي ينعق بما لا يسمع إلا دعاء ونداء صم بكم عمي فهم لا يعقلون The parable of those who reject faith is as if one were to shout like a goat herd to things that listen to nothing but calls and cries, deaf, dumb and blind, they are void of wisdom. That is a very short uh, ayah of the Quran, but it is uh, again giving a picture of the rejectors of the faith. Some people, uh, sometime when it is said to a person who does not believe in Allah or in the Quran, we say to him, that this is the example of a non-believer, a kafir, sometimes they object. They say, why? Why this title of kafir is given to us? All right, the simple question is, the person uh, who is objecting to this title, kafir, I ask him a simple question. Do you believe in the book of Allah? If he says, no, I don't believe in the book of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, I say, yes, this is the meaning of kafir. Kafara means satara, to hide. Because you don't want to believe in the book, you want to hide the truth. This is why your title is al-kafir. No more than that. Just say la ilaha illallah and you will be a believer, a Muslim, a mu'min. So nobody should be, uh, should be objecting or, uh, or be uh, a person who who does not like such type of title. No, this title is a very simple title, which is explaining the nature of the person who rejects the truth. وَمَسَلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا The example of those people who have rejected, rejected the faith. كَمَثَلِ الَّذِي يَنْعِقُ بِمَا لَا يَسْمَعُ إِلَّا دُعَاءً وَنِدَاءً Like the example of a shepherd. The shepherd who is uh, taking care of his herd, herd of goat and sheep. Now, what happens? That the shepherd is uh, shouting at the goat. Sometimes he may be using uh, the word in his own language. Come, go away, enter into the, uh, in, in the herd, in the house. He may be shouting, but what these sheep and goats are listening, what... What type of sound are coming into their ears? Just shouting. Illa du'a'an wa nida'an. Somebody is just calling or crying. No more than that. Because they don't understand uh, the words. Their meanings, nothing. Some, some sounds of cries are coming into their ears. So that is the example of uh, the non-believers. The example of just, uh, just the cattle's listening to the shouting and cries of the shepherd, no more than that. And in the end it is said, Summun, Bukmun, Umyun, Fahum la yaqilun. We have taken in the first parable, that was the parable of hypocrites, the same uh, description was given. It is said, Summun, Bukmun, Umyun. They are deaf, they are dumb, they are blind. And there it is said, Fahum la yarjiun. But... So they don't go back to the path of Islam. And here it is said, 
for whom la yaqilun they don't try to understand they are wide of wisdom and that is the beauty of the verses of al quran you think that this is the same verse repeated here no there it is said that these people because they are deaf and dumb and blind they don't want to go back to the path of islam and here it is said summun bukmun umyun fahum la yaqilun they don't want to understand they don't want to use their aql their intellect so this is the difference between the two now just see that people are guided in this life through different ways uh the you can say the lowest the lowest guidance is the guidance of the instinct the lowest guidance is the guidance of the instinct which is found more in the insects and the animal kingdom because as you know that the 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 animals the insects they are guided by their instinct how uh the bee the bee is going to construct its hives the bee how it is going to suck uh the nectar of the flowers from place to place and then uh the bees come back to their hives though they may be flying here and there to different places but when they come back they are in in thousands but they come come back to their own webs they don't go to someone else this is how they are doing it because of their instinct the dog by its instinct is led uh, to find out a criminal person for example why do uh, why police dogs are used to find out about uh, the drug traffic uh, traffickers only because they are guided by their instinct and this small creature of allah subhanahu wa taala is going to gather all its food for its rainy days each ant is going to collect just one grain one grain carrying on on uh, its back and and i don't know where its its back is and then it is taking it to a hiding this uh, this uh, th- th- these are the creatures of allah subhanahu wa taala small insects all led by their instinct so that is uh, the lowest level of the guidance and then there is a higher one and that is the guidance of the senses the guidance of the senses again you are uh, guided in your life by your senses you smell you see you hear you touch and this is how you know about so many things so the guidance of senses is very vital and actually the the example of the dog which i have just given that is the example of senses because uh, the dog is guided by the smell so this is again an upper guidance but is it enough is it enough no allah subhanahu wa taala has given a higher guidance than the senses and this is the guidance of the mind because your senses sometimes they do mistake how you are traveling in a desert and you see water in front of you you think that this is water and this is why you are running to that place but once you come to that place you discover this was not water it was just mirage in arabic sarab and this is another example which is uh, given uh, for the non believers in surah an nur and we are going to take it as well insha allah so your senses your uh, sighting has committed a mistake here your senses your sight has seen water and it was not water it was just sand who corrected you your mind so it means the mind is a higher type of guidance which is given to the man is it enough no it is not enough because even the mind does mistake and this is why we see that all the wise people who get together in a parliament because in the parliament of course you you elect so many people and you think that they are the cream of the society they are the wisest of the people don't they do mistakes all right the book of allah says that uh, the person who has committed murder he deserves to be killed as well because he has taken the life of a person so his life should be taken until he is pardoned by the family of the deceased 
That is the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is given in Tawrat, which is given in Al-Quran as well. But the modern times of uh, modern times uh, thinkers, philosophers, parliamentarians, they say no, it is barbaric. And this is why the capital punishment uh, is, is taken away from, from many countries. But we say that the intellect can do mistake. Who is going to correct that mistake? The mistakes of the mind is corrected by the revelation. This is why the revelation is the highest type of guidance. We don't say that uh, don't apply your aql, your mind. Yes, apply your aql, your mind, because there are many, many verses of the Quran which ends up by saying la allakum tatafakkaroon, la allakum tatafakkaroon, so that you you think, you think, you keep on thinking. Li qawmin yaqilun. Uh, these are the ayat for those people who got aql, who got mind. So, there is a place of mind, a very high place of mind in Islam. But, mind in comparison to revelation is just like the eye in comparison to the sunlight. Yes, with your eye, you see things. But can you see without light, without external light? If it is dark, your eye is not going to work. You need the light of the sun, the external light to see the things around you. So this is why we say that yes, your mind is very vital, but it should be, it should be illuminated by the light of the sun. In the same way, your aql, that is good, but it needs an inspiration from the revelation. As long as your aql is working within, within uh, the, the revelation, then it is all right. Nothing is bad about that. But as, as soon as it comes out of the revelation, then it is going to commit mistakes. No, blunders. It is going to commit blunders when it is wide of the revelation. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the meaning of this example. That those people who reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are just like those cattle who don't understand what the shepherd is calling. They just know that there are some shoutings and no more than that. And with this we come to the end of uh, this session. وصلى الله تعالى على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Oh